<laughs> um, hi. Um, hi. Here I am on the uh, on the class stand with Jan, uh, who's going to tell me a bit more about what is this we have here? The autonomous Zerion. Okay. Right. Series. Right. Okay. Yes. Let's let's find out a bit more. Yes. So this is a Zerion 12 series tractor, which is brand new, best tractor in the industry in this horsepower range. And what's special about this one is that this is actually a prototype that is capable of working fully autonomous. So this tractor is basically what we call a dual-use tractor. So you can work highly automated where the operator just sits on it and can supervise the operation. But this tractor can also, for simple tasks, work on its own. And you can sit on your Lexion, you can spend time with your family, have a drink, whatever you like, whatever you fancy. Wow. Yeah. But the special thing is basically it's a cloud-based ecosystem, meaning um, it's kind of like what you would call Internet of Things. So in this ecosystem, you have a digital barn, you have all your fields, you have your machines. You can do the planning and you can also like exchange information between different systems. So if you work with this machine, unlike today, where you have a GPS steering, which is kind of local and you have a task format, but you plan reference lines and then you have to tie everything together like a patchwork. With this one, you do a recipe in your ecosystem, the machine receives it, and then it's just push up a button and it works. And you can either sit on it you can also, if you want to like work manually, do that for a while, like a few minutes, and then go back to fully autonomous mode. So it's all possible. And maybe in a nutshell, the, the special thing about this is that it's based on this ecosystem and that you work uh, with a recipe. So you make a plan, and what you plan is what you get. And what other sensors that are used? So on this tractor, particular tractor, we have uh, radar sensors. We have eight cameras around the cabin. We have three LiDAR sensors, and for the, um, let's say, um, advanced perception system, we use the uh, cameras and the LiDAR, and sensor fusion and KI. And for the more simple one, we use the LiDAR and the radar. We work together with uh, Amazoni uh, and Exceed, obviously, because um, you need to be able to um, detect issues, uh, mainly in the first step. So if there's something blocked, like if the roller is stopping, uh, we don't want the Xerion to keep on pulling because uh, after coming from the pub to see what the Xerion is doing, you might have a big pile of soil on, the, on your field, so you don't want that no. because it's quite strong, it will pull a lot. Um, so what we did on this cultivator, or Amazoni did, is we have a sensor for the roller speed, we have sensors for the uh, stone protection, we have um, sensors like, like spring-loaded finger type things that uh, detect if there's any buildup. Uh, and, um, with this, Amazoni is tying everything together. And uh, the first thing the Amazoni cultivator is doing when it realizes that something is starting to build up, it tries to fix the problem, called Amazoni Autotill, uh, via the TIM interface. So uh, that's also important. We are using standardized interfaces. So we want to use what's available in AEF as much as we can. And only where we can't for full autonomous mode, we go for proprietary stuff. And um, so the, the cultivator is trying to um, fix it using the TIM interface by lifting the hitch, activating the hydraulics, lift the implement, see if it fixes stuff. And if that doesn't work, there's a proprietary interface so that the cultivator can also tell the tractor to stop and to send a, a message to the operator that he has to obviously fix it himself. And uh, finally, I suppose uh, we, should, we should mention the, uh, the Silver Medal Award. Yes. Yeah. For this year's Agritechnica yeah. Silver Medal Award. Uh, uh, I mean, you've told me all about it, so is there anything to mention about the award itself? I mean, we were stoked about it. It's like pretty amazing. So the award is actually like this approach of um, trying to work together uh, in the industry to make this happen for the customer, because that's important to us. That's important to all our dear uh, agricultural engineering uh, colleagues. And um, we basically like applied for this award together with Exceed or Exceed did it together with us and Amazoni just to um, promote the idea of having open interfaces for our customers. And of course, the standardization is done in AEF. So we also work with AEF, of course. It's more like an initiative um, to, again, um, push our AEF standard because this is um, what we believe in.